Okay, so I'm not a big fan of Ann Coulter right now, but her appearance last night on Bill Maher's show is definitely worth talking about. Coulter, Maher, and Van Jones are discussing gun violence and mass shootings when Ann Coulter drops a truth bomb that leaves them all in stunned silence. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on Patreon, where I post unedited news clips, videos without ads, and special live stream Discord access. Check it out after the video. I mean, we don't know who did this shooting, by the way. The, the, the Super Bowl shooting. We have we, some idea. What? If it were a white man shooting, we'd know. You were correct. If we, well, we don't know. But they, I mean, they That's how we know it's not a white man, I can tell you that much. Do you think they were, they were repressing that reporting? They wouldn't tell us about the um, transgender woman that shot up the Christian school for what, like a year? Um, Oh, San Bernardino out here. Remember the crazy terrorist Muslims? I, that's when I first noticed, hmm, they're not telling us who it is. I, it's not a white male. The longer they go without telling you, it's not a white male. Okay, anyway. well, we don't, we, for this one, for right now, as of Friday night, February 16th, we, know. we, don't, we don't officially know. <laughs> okay, you know you have special powers. <laughs> um, but I'm smart. Unlike someone we know. You'd think that Bill Maher would have learned something about mocking and laughing people who tell the truth on that show. Maher especially, he should have learned a lesson from the time that he and his audience laughed at Dennis Prager for saying leftists believed men could have periods. These are giant left-wing lies. We're talking about degrees. To say that men can menstruate is a lie. And that is now, that is what is said. Wait, 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 where did that I, I never heard You never heard it, right, okay. Check it out, folks, check it out. Anyway, back to Anne's statement that we would have known the identity of these shooters immediately had they been white. There's a very easy way to prove what Anne's saying is correct. Just do a search for white man shooting. You'll find many stories that involve a quote, white man shooting someone. Now try white man or white woman shot. Nothing! And what you'll find are all the stories are about white people shooting others. Now try black man shooting. Again, just stories about white people shooting others that explicitly focus on the skin color of the shooter. There are no stories, or at least it's exceedingly rare for news stories to focus on the skin color of non-white shooters. This despite the data being very clear. There are way more black and Latino on white violence than the other way around. And was further proved right by the fact this story fell right off the news's radar the second we learned about their identities. This really isn't difficult to figure out. Here's a map of the territory held by the Bloods and Crips with the red marker showing where the shooting occurred. The media has no interest in national reporting about gang violence, specifically because they make up a majority of the gun violence and mass shootings in this country. Contrary to the state narrative that it's white men who pose the greatest threat to this country. Their goal seems to be disarming the country and they want people thinking that the real threat is their name who owns an AR, when in reality, the vast majority of gun violence and mass shootings are done by black and Latino men involved in gang violence. So the media has two reasons for this deception. One, they think reporting on this violence from black and Latino communities is an attack on marginalized groups and would supposedly result in some sort of negative backlash against those communities. Now, if that's true, does that mean they do want harm to come to the so-called white community? Well, certainly that's a possibility, dude. And and two, because it's way harder to take away your gun rights if everybody knows that the vast majority of this gun violence is coming from black and Latino gangs. The media who do not care about blacks killing blacks, and this is the w one time where I think, I mean, you always hear, well, um, pretty white girl, oh, they'll cover that. No, the blacks killing blacks will not get covered by the media. That's a huge media problem. And yeah, you'll, you'll all laugh at me, um, but I'm gonna say it because I'm right. Very right. Because of this, far right, is is illegitimacy. All of these young men do not have fathers, and that is a huge, huge source of it. Anything that could be done to reduce the illegitimacy rate, particularly among the black community, it would be astronomical. The changes you see, you know, uh, it's an amazing fact. It's it's it would be an amazing fact if it were true, but. You know, that, <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, but, but look, well, I mean, it is a big part of it. A human. 
<laughs> there's nothing far right about the data. But I have a feeling that's why our institutions are now trying to fudge that data. By simply not reporting it or by just labeling black and Latinos as white in their records. I'm not sure how much this is actually going on, but we've seen many examples of it from our mainstream media. Like when they tried to call an obvious Latino man a white Hispanic. Or more recently, their attempts to cover up the motivations and identities of trans shooters. Or like Anne said, the San Bernardino shooting, where the media went out of their way to cover up the fact that it was a Muslim terrorist attack. And when that became undeniable, they pulled out the marginalized community routine. The FBI has been very careful about attributing motive here so far. It seems they really want to make sure they've penetrated down to the bedrock before they come out and say anything definitive. Five minutes later. How does it change the conversation? I don't know if we want to go down that road, Tamron, yeah, just yet. I mean, I have some fears of where this conversation goes. If this if this turns into being an American Muslim, an American citizen, uh, and the investigation comes out that this is a radicalized situation and all this stuff, I, I think the consequences mm -hmm. on our politics um, could be very ugly and very negative. Of course! It's obvious that the powers that be are trying to muddy the waters, and unfortunately, way too many people are not able to see through it. You know, I'm trying to raise, you know, black kids here in Los Angeles. I'm not a part of the pro-crime lobby. Then wrong. But you are, Van Jones! It's called the Democrat Party! And like always, you're just trying to pass off the failures of your party onto someone else usually your political opponents. But Democrats clearly are soft on crime and even encourage it with their stupidity and hatred. All right, folks, if you're still watching, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button and let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Thanks for watching and keep checking back for more.